Gaming laptops have two graphics cards on board. One is the powerful one for gaming, the dedicated GPU or DGPU for short, and the other is the low power one built into the CPU itself called the integrated GPU or iGPU for short. For the sake of battery life, the iGPU is the one that actually runs your display basically any time that you aren't gaming, and the DGPU is literally turned off. When you fire up a game though, the DGPU takes over and renders your game as fast as it can. The problem with having two graphics cards connected to one display is a bit of a tricky one to solve though. Nvidia came up with Optimus over a decade ago to do just that. Basically, the DGPU's video signal was routed through the iGPU and then onto the display. Optimus would basically control which of the GPUs was the one doing that rendering. The problem with that design is that it's a massive bottleneck. It adds latency since the game's frames need to pass through the iGPU before being displayed and can sometimes even limit outright performance too. That obviously isn't ideal. And the problem there is that even if you go into Device Manager and disable the iGPU, well, it can't be fully disabled as the DGPU still needs to pass its frames through it. Happily, laptop manufacturers started using a ready-made solution, a MUX switch. That's M-U-X as in multiplexer. You can think of it like physically moving an HDMI cable from the motherboard I.O. on a desktop to your actual graphics card and back again every time you launch or exit a game. That switches between the two GPUs, and thanks to Nvidia embracing that design with the newer Advanced Optimus tech, well, it's a pretty seamless switch. You really don't notice it changing over at all, and now that you get all of the benefits of you know not having an iGPU or not having a DGPU, because the two are no longer connected to each other and can be turned off independently. So what's this video about then? Well, Nvidia actually gives you an extra setting here. Under Manage Display Mode in the Nvidia Control Panel, you'll find three choices. Automatic, Optimus, and Nvidia GPU only. Technically speaking, Automatic should really be called Optimus, and Optimus should really be called iGPU only, but uh, we're really only looking at the top and bottom options here, so ignore the one in the middle. The top one is the standard Optimus, well, advanced Optimus mode, and the bottom just disables the iGPU. I'll start off by saying that for most people in most situations, leaving this on automatic makes the most sense. For all intents and purposes, that is the best option for most people. But if you're uh, an enthusiast and want the best experience and don't mind a few tweaks and drawbacks, well, then the other mode might be for you. There are a couple of reasons why you might want to switch to the NVIDIA GPU only mode. The first is freeing up some power for your CPU. Now, this isn't really a big deal, as gaming doesn't tend to be a, you know, really push the CPU to anywhere near its power limits, but it's the same principle for buying a KF desktop CPU from Intel. It means you have a touch more power on hand to give to the CPU, or thanks to dynamic boost, maybe even to the GPU, which actually might maybe give you a tiny, tiny little bit more performance. But let's be real, that is more of a paper benefit than anything. Now, the, the other more useful reason is that Optimus sometimes gets which GPU to use wrong. I've booted up games and it runs horribly, and then I switch to the DGPU mode, uh, only mode, and hey presto, it's running great. This can mean significantly less performance in games, often randomly, as sometimes it does pick the right GPU, but when it doesn't, it's a massive pain. It can also mean worse latency, 
I found on the I think XMG Pro 15 that with Optimus enabled, I was getting over 10 milliseconds of on-display latency, but with NVIDIA GPU only mode, that dropped to just 3 milliseconds. Literally cut by almost 4x. That's a pretty big incentive to use the DGPU mode, right? Well, yes, but there are some costs, specifically battery life. The very reason laptops have two GPUs is because one is much, much more efficient than the other, and so disabling the efficient one is going to cost you in battery life. You can, of course, just manually switch to the DGPU mode for, you know, when you launch a game and then switch back once you've closed it, but having to remember to do that would be pretty annoying. And worse, uh, as the Aorus 16X demonstrated so nicely for us uh, in the full video, you can check it in the cards, with their automated version of exactly that, when you switch between Optimus and DGPU modes, it often hangs the whole system for 5 to 10 seconds both ways. Launch a game? Cool, your system is frozen for a full 10 seconds while it does that, so switch over. You, you close the game? Wonderful, it's locked up for a while. It gets pretty annoying. So, unless you are having issues with your games performing poorly on your gaming laptop, Personally, I would just leave it on automatic. If you want to spend the time to get the best possible experience, or are having issues where games are suddenly running like trash, maybe give NVIDIA GPU only mode a go. Of course, with that said, I would actually love to hear your experiences with Optimus and Advanced Optimus uh, in the description. If you have any of those weird edge cases where you seem to find it especially regularly gets it wrong, let me know what those edge cases are in the comments. Um, also, if you want to see more videos like this one, you can hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification icon, and if you want to see more videos that are already up, including the review for this ARS 16X, I'll leave it on the cards that will pop up in a second. If you want to be able to test stuff like this, like the latency, like response times, or even peripherals like mice and keyboards, I make my very own hardware that I sell over at osrtt.com. Feel free to go have a look. It's all open source as well, which is quite nice, and I make it right here at home. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video.